Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and went on a date with Papyrus and we run, went around to every place in Snowden to get extra dialogue from Papyrus' phone calls. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on past Snowden Town and see what else lies beyond there. There's actually one screen that I forgot to go ahead and get a Papyrus phone call from. It's this one where we fought him on. This is where I tried to capture you. What a terrible memory. Nothing else to say. You know, I was thinking a little bit earlier before we go ahead and move on. Uh, last episode, when we were going back through Snowden Forest, there was that super long screen that I mentioned was like, hey, this is super long because they tried to build tension before, but now it's just kind of boring to go back through again. I wonder, what is the longest screen in the game? Like, in terms of pixel length, what is the longest or, I guess, tallest screen in the game? Uh, I wonder what it is. Anyways, now we're heading back here to this kind of back area of Snowden. And we immediately raise the mood. So first of all, this guy over here on the left, you'll see he's right next to this flower. Now, normally you'll talk to him and he'll be like, this is an echo flower. And I'll quickly explain what an echo flower is. It's basically this flower where you talk to it and it repeats what it's what you said back to you. However, if we go ahead and talk to the echo flower right now, all that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of my constants of this world. And so he just doesn't give you that tutorial. So yeah, the echo flower, you say something, it says it back to you. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> Again, I am completely incompetent at doing fake laughs. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Let's save there. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. And we see one of his shortcuts firsthand. Fast short shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Uh, I forget the voices I did for these people. Greeting, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a minute ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least in a half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Whenever I go to restaurants or at least get fast food, I always just order fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Will be. We'll have a double order of fries. So, uh, what do you think of my brother? He's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Uh, sure. Bon Appetit. Get it, because he's a skeleton. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off, and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal God. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal God, and begged her to let him be in it. 
Of course, she shut, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him the warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I uh, wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to pay, play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from my work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> Sans is such a good character, because, you know, he's the classic comedy character that sometimes gets really serious. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and head back over to the uh, marsh, as Sans called it. You know, in order to get there faster, let me go ahead and take a shortcut. Alrighty, we're here. I wonder if you'll... This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. So yeah, there's an example of the echo flower. I guess I just had to go off screen for a bit. Let me go ahead and save right there. Alrighty. So there are a few things. I want to head down here real quick because there's somewhere around here. Yeah. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. That's weird. We're seeing cameras all over the place. So I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. So yeah, that's your hint for seeing the camera behind the waterfall. This is a box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. If we go ahead and move up here, yeah, right behind here, there's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yeah, let's go ahead and take it. You got the old tutu. And so let's go ahead and... Info. Old tutu. Armor, defense 10. Finally, a protective piece of armor. So yeah, let's go ahead and put that on. You equip the old tutu. Alrighty, let me go ahead and put stuff in the box. And then... Yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? W well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see, you see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can.
Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you get do to get her attention? Haha. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. That was the Undyne that Papyrus had been telling us about, and she's quite menacing. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. So, yeah, welcome to the Waterfall. That's the name of this new area we're in. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Let's go ahead and line them all up. And just like the sign says, we can walk straight across. Okay. All right. Oh. First enemy, Aaron. This guy is, you know, a bit weird. Let's go ahead and flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increase increases for you too. Flexing contest? Okay, flex more. This guy is basically just a weird creep, you know? So we're just gonna keep flexing and then... Nice, I won't lose though. Yeah, all of his attacks have to do with either muscles or sweat. You flex, Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. Alrighty, next puzzle. We have some mushrooms here, but they don't really do anything. We have the sign down here. There are a couple of things that I want to do. We have the actual exit over there, but we also have this exit over here and the sign. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of them. Alrighty. Congratulations. You failed the puzzle. <laughs> So yeah, now we have to go ahead and go up to the top here. If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. So we ring the bell and we get all of the seeds back. Thankfully we have that there, or else we'd be completely stuck. But yeah, Toriel was right when she said that puzzles are pretty much everywhere. We're going to be seeing a ton of them throughout the rest of the game. Is that? Okay, that is all of them. For a second, I thought I only put three. There's a lone quiche sitting underneath this bench. Will you take it? Yeah, let's take it. You got the abandoned quiche. Abandoned quiche heals 34 HP. A psychologically damaged spinach egg pie. I just wasn't ready for the responsibility. I think this is a reference to something. I think it was like a... Reference to a tweet or something or other. Did I do that correctly? I'm not sure that I did. Okay, no, I didn't. Let me go ahead and do that. Now I'm wondering, when I go back down here... Okay, I guess those uh, flowers down there are just there forever. Alrighty, how do I do this? I forget. Oh, I, th I think I know what to do. Go ahead and just do that from there. Once we fill those all up, we can just... Yeah, we can just go through here and then we'll have completed it. Oh. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? I mean, yeah, we are. So, you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it, wink wink. Have a nice day. That's actually something that's going to come up a little bit later, so... Yeah. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes into the stars, to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Wishing Room 
Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Oh. This is Washua. His entire thing is cleaning stuff. So we're just going to have him clean us. We ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Clean means green. So just like Vegetoid back in the runes, we want to touch some green, the green stuff and then we can spare. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see real stars someday. Uh, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. I'm not really sure what, uh, voices to do for the echo flowers. Look through the telescope? Or not the echo flowers themselves, but the people who are using the echo flowers. If we go ahead and look at this, it says check wall up there. This is something that I see a lot of people on YouTube getting stuck on, because they assume that it's something up here that's like a secret, and they think that going up here is like an exit to something or where to go next in the room. So they keep like going along the walls like for a couple of minutes and then they come up here and they're just like, oh, this wall. Ancient writings cover the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. We're going up against Undyne a bit early. And no, don't take these spears being blue as meaning you shouldn't move. Keep moving. Whoop. Pretty sure, yeah, if you if you stand still, then yeah, it'll just hit you. But they're just normal spears. It can be a bit confusing, your first time playing. I don't think I got confused about this one. Uh... But just so you guys know, because some might assume that. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were just standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Because that kid doesn't have arms, he just keeps tripping. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. <laughs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on through Waterfall and hopefully not encounter Undyne again. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye